I'm Matt Bichard here in Seattle for NARIT's 2018 ESG Forum. Joining me today is Cynthia Figge, CEO and co-founder of CSR Hub. Cynthia, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Now, could you start by just telling us a little bit about CSR Hub and what it does? Yeah, we are um, a software company, a database, which I co-founded in 2007. And we're the largest aggregation of ESG metrics worldwide. So we rate 17,000 companies for their performance in environmental, social, and governance. And what kind of reporting framework do you use to collect your information? We aggregate over 500 sources and uh, that includes 12 ESG expert analyst databases as well as many many sources in the public domain indexes best of lists special special interest and so that's what enables us to have the breadth and depth of coverage and ratings and can you describe the process of scoring a company and what factors separate a, a higher scoring company from from a lower scoring one every company has a unique set of raters and each rater has some strength. They may be covering all of ESG or some component just governance. Um, but a company is basically uh, has many, many stakeholders that are evaluating it. And what we find, the difference in terms of companies that are really, really high performers is that they are performing very well across all dimensions of ESG. And that's, and that's really tough to do because it's very hard work. So um, our methodology is to map, uh, normalize, and then weight each source uh, into 12 subcategories of performance. Now, overall, what kind of improvement have you witnessed in terms of ESG performance? What we see is in um, a range of 0 to 100 in ratings. The low companies tend to be around 40, and the highest companies are in the 70s. So the midpoint of the database is around a 55. Um, what I have seen over almost 10 years of working on this is that although there is some improvement, we're not seeing companies really moving up into the, you know, the holy grail of 80 to 100. Um, so it's, uh, you know, I think there has been some movement, and but I think the bar for performance has gone up. I think more companies are reporting, so there's more pressure, uh, in a sense, uh, for disclosure. And in some ways, um, now I think uh, companies that are not disclosing are getting penalized in ways that they weren't before. And what about REITs as an industry? REITs are doing well. I mean, I think, um, our own research, which I'll talk about today at the conference, um, looks at the performance of 110 publicly traded REITs and also compares them to the attendees at this forum. And um, I, I think what you see is a, a normal distribution with kind of a central tendency. But um, what I will note during the uh, uh, conversation is that the attendees are actually doing a little bit better. Great. Well, that's good news for them. <laughs> Great. Cynthia, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. For more on ESG-related topics, be sure to visit NAREED's website, REIT.com.